Suddenly everything changed. They're spreading blankets on the beach. Margaret and Brendan, we are gathered here to witness and honor their marriage and the beginning of their next chapter of their lives together. The first is the cleansing of all that has come before and a resetting of their separate and collective energies at the beginning of this new step together. Palo Santo, or holy stick, is a type of wood commonly used in ritual purification to cleanse misfortune and negativity away. Margaret and Brendan have a shared love for the ceremony of brewing and drinking coffee. <laughs> the grinding of the beans, is the intermingling and the combination of their two lives into one. The water extracts the best parts of each individual and they merge together and flow into one life as the coffee brews. When prepared poorly, just like a relationship, a coffee can be acidic, bitter, or bland, but when crafted with intention, the love and its richness is sweet and complex. This single brew is poured into two cups they remain two distinct individuals, but each take the other as part of themselves. <laughs> that's, that's good. The couple has chosen to read their own vows. <laughs> you, Margaret. One of the greatest joys of my life is beginning to know you. The way you constantly reinvent yourself while always staying true to who you are. Your sense of adventure and how you pull me out of the house. Your ability to keep the people around you grounded, yet inspired. How endearing you are when you're mad, <laughs> or sad, or joyful. Every little detail that makes you so completely. You, Magnet. You have opened my subconscious to the knowing of my worth. You showed my inner child that I could love myself and have anything I desire. Your guidance helped me unblock, integrate, reprogram. My expander is <laughs> you, Max. I fell for you fast. That love will stay here forever, raining down on you. No umbrella can save you, Lemon. <laughs> you took my heart three years ago. Now I give it to you willingly. This love has no mountain, no coastline, no sickness, no ending. I promise to give you a love worthy of you, Dove. You agreed to marry me when I was near my lowest. Now I come to you at my highest, finally deserving of you, Margaret. I choose your light, your love, your everything. I vow to earn your heart all over again, every day, for as long as I live. Brendan, you are my inspiration. Because of you, I haven't just found a life partner. I found excitement, joy, and a greater sense of self-discovery than I had before I met you. You are my greatest challenge in the best way possible. You motivate me to feel, explore, and examine all of my feelings, beliefs, and limiting thoughts. You are my home. I have never felt so secure, stable, and unconditionally loved and supported as I do every day with you. I love that we always want the best for each other and that we freely choose this partnership because we keep learning how good it is for us. I love that each of us has grown and changed in countless ways since we met, and I love that our relationship has grown and shifted to keep meeting us where we are now. I love that it keeps getting better. I promise to make our marriage a calm and comforting port in stormy times that we return to over and over again to feel renewed and at peace. I promise to always support you and help you on your path toward healing and authenticity and beyond wherever it takes you. 
And most of all, I promise to always make sure you know how immeasurably happy and lucky I feel to be with you. The ring is an unbroken circle. It is a symbol of infinity and of your infinite love. When you look at the rings on your hand, be reminded of this moment, your commitment and the love you now feel for each other. By the authority vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Margaret's brother, Tim, uh, Timothy, for long or whatever. When I was a kid, we, I, uh, I had, we both did have a lot of imaginary friends. I'm not going to name any of hers because uh, I'm going to save her the embarrassment, but this is my confessional. So um, I had an imaginary friend named Edge Boy. And I. Edge Boy got in a lot of trouble. Anytime I got in trouble, I blamed it on Edge Boy because he was an edgy boy. But Margaret was my first real friend. Brandon, I met two and a half years ago, sometime before COVID. We had uh, some interesting online conversations early on. Sometimes we would just get on Facebook to just get mad at people. So we all quit. We all quit. They quit before me. I quit. Yeah, we were doing good. Um, and, you know, everything's so much better with it. And uh, so thanks for being that inspiration to me. And I want to raise my Bud Light to uh, a wonderful wedding and Brendan and Margaret's beautiful marriage. Uh, let's uh, drink to that. My name is Kathleen. I am Brendan Smith. There's a person missing here tonight, Brendan's dad. He was so proud of you, as both of us are. Robert, we miss you, we love you, and you're thought of. Three years ago, I met Margaret. What a smile Brendan had on his face. I missed that smile on him, and you have widened it from ear to ear. He laughs like that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Brendan, I've never seen you happier. It's not how you weather the storm. It's how you dance in the rain. Keep dancing. Hi, everyone. I'm Jillian, and I'm one of Margaret's oldest friends. Step one, introduce yourself. Check. Nailed it. 
Step two, remember, this is not about me. Okay, we'll work on that. Step three, talk about the bride. Margaret is gorgeous, witty, intelligent, caring, lovable, cool, full of love for Brendan. She is a wonderful person and has been a loyal and amazing friend for many years. I know she will make a great partner for Brendan. Step four, don't talk about exes. All right, moving on. <laughs> Step five, talk about the couple. Brendan is kind, smart, funny, calm, loyal, and full of love for Margaret. These two excel at changing each other in a positive way, making an effort to help each other become their best selves, and they love each other unconditionally. Oh, and if we include Brendan's access to power tools, their foundation is probably more solid than most of East Portland. Margaret, you are strong enough to blow like a storm on your own, but with Brendan by your side, you are a hurricane. Hi everyone, I'm Aaron. I've known Brendan a long time. And I've known a lot of different versions of Brendan. Every one of them was his true authentic self, who he thought he was at the time. I've always admired that about Brendan. Brendan always, has always been a representation to me of what happens when you listen to yourself. And I know you're going to disagree with a lot of this, <laughs> but regardless of how you felt about yourself, how I felt about you was very much, I admired so much about you that you were able to come to conclusions by yourself Every day I see you, especially now, I see you grow and love yourself more and just give yourself permission to be happy. And it's truly wonderful and that it is amplified so much by you, Margaret. That's so important to me that my friend feels that way. Thank you very much. You guys have cracked it. I wish you both a long and happy life together. Maya said that when Margaret asked me, Maya, to give a toast, I said yes because I was there the day that Margaret and Brendan met. Margaret had been talking to this new guy on Hinge, and <laughs> he had invited her to a Game of Thrones finale party. Margaret asked me to come, and I drove us out to his house. Well, almost. <laughs> when I was about to turn onto the street, Margaret yelled, Keep going straight! <laughs> Dating apps can be freaking scary. <laughs> For the next few months, I'd be on the phone with her as she told me about how he was just the coolest, most interesting guy she'd ever met. And quickly, I came to see how he felt the exact same about her. All I know now is that a room with Brandon and Margaret is a room I want to be in. Hello, all. Margaret, some months ago, asked me if I would give a toast at her wedding. And I said I'd be honored. I said it would be the, the biggest honor of my life next to marrying her mother. When you get to know Brendan, it doesn't take long to figure out that this guy is really, really smart. And then if you listen to him talk about his work, it doesn't take long to realize this guy is incredibly creative. But combined with those things is the fact that Brendan is very, very polite and well-mannered. Now, I don't know about all of you, but in my line of work, those qualities don't always go together. You don't always get the whole package, but, but with Brendan, you do. Brendan and I, early on in our relationship, had some political discussions. Things were hot and heavy politically. And I learned that when you have a political discussion with Brendan, you better bring your A game or, or you're going to get embarrassed. When Margaret was a, a little girl, she was very shy. You would never know it now, looking at this poised, self-possessed, articulate woman. But she was very shy. We had this tradition where I would take the kids to Blockbuster, and they would rent a video after a hard week at school. Tim picked out Space Jam and his movies in about five seconds. Margaret, it took about half an hour, which seemed like about three hours. She would, Tim and I would be waiting at the cashier. Margaret would be wandering around, picking a video up, examining it, putting it back, picking another one. Very deliberative process. 
And I thought it would never end, but finally she picked out her video, and when she did, it was the perfect video for her. And she took that video up to the stand, and she had a big smile on her face like she was ready for the weekend. Now, the reason I bring up that particular memory, to bring Brendan back into it, is that Margaret, in that way, has reverted a little bit, and it re maybe resembles the way she chose a spouse. Life is going to get cold, and when it gets cold, take the warmth from our hearts. And when it gets dark, Take the light from our hearts. So take our hearts with you as, as you live out the rest of your days. See the end.